Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Sampurasun Hello nice people there And welcome back with me to the Unit Talk program Still at Strabiz TV And don't you know that they're nice people At the previous episode We did talk about NLP for English public speaking And the coach, um, Coach Alka here, still here for sure At the previous episode was talking deeper about four pillars Am I right? Yes, four yes, pillars, four pillars. Four pillars. Four pillars. Four. And for this episode, we are trying to talk more about NLP for pub- English public speaking uh, and, and uh, NLP try to put into like more technique, technical, technical that's right. That's right. things, right? So let's elaborate about it, still with him. All right, right. let's do it. So, well, welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you very Again. much, it's really great. So always. what are you going to say about, about technical? Things? Okay, yeah. uh, technical English public speaking with NLP is something interesting because right. We will cover this, um, not course, but we will cover this topic with specific uh, knowledge which some people may not familiar about yet. Mm-hmm. So, uh, how NLP really perceive uh, public speaking or English public speaking? I can say English public speaking is yeah. part of communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And NLP is really great tool for communication because we really think or we really look at how the way we process information right. and how we respond to it mm-hmm. and English public speaking is one way how we want to deliver a message a certain right. message and how we want the audience to respond to our message right so in NLP I can say one phrases which really encapsulate everything in, in uh, perhaps in one perspective mm-hmm. I can say it as a speak their language speak their language that's right which mean um, What are you going to say about it? <laughs> that's I'm, right. I'm thinking deeper actually. <laughs> that's right. Because I'm putting multiple meaning in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So speak their language means actually when we want to speak to, to people, to audience, for mm-hmm. example, we really want to speak according to their unconscious language. Right. Unconscious language means we all have different way of processing information in our mind. Some of us, we really like to process information by our visual perspective. So we like to see, we like to imagine, we like to picture. Okay, And some other people, they like to listen. They like to pay attention to what they listen more than to what they look at. So if we know how they really respond to information, we can really balance our presentation according to their unconscious language. Mm-hmm. For example, if you want to, uh, to show or if you want to present mm-hmm. and you know that, okay, I want to make my presentation balanced either right. visually or auditorially, mm-hmm. then you know that you will have some body languages right. because some visual, those who really perceive information by visual aspect, they want to see something. Mm-hmm. If you just keep standing still, means nothing to see. Yeah, really. <laughs> That's right. I'm kind of persons who will like to see people there delivering something with a body language. Body language. Not just stay like That's this, right. nothing to do, nothing to do. And, right. and, and, and but but on contrary, uh-huh. those who really operate on auditory level, they uh-huh. don't really care yeah. about the body language <laughs> and they may not even see how we present. Right. So we may perceive them as ignoring us, but they don't. Mm-hmm. They don't ignore us. Right. It's just they really pay attention by their listening. Mm-hmm. So we may see them as someone who really uh, looking at somewhere else, right, or they, right, they, right, they, right. They, they're like doing something else. Mm-hmm. But actually, they keep listening and listening. Mm-hmm. So when they, when we know how to treat them, mm-hmm. we will balance our presentation. Right. We will make our tonality, mm-hmm. our intonation. And, right. and, and many things who has something to do with auditory, with listening, right. we will try to make it as bad as we can. Right, right. While at the same time, we really mention, uh, we really maintain our body language, right. or, and really maintain our appearance, mm-hmm. performance, because those who operate in visual, mm-hmm. that's the thing that they want to look for. Right. So, so Coach Alka, what do you suggest? Because as you um, explained it before that, we need to uh, put Uh, what is it? Visual, auditory. everything, one in one, auditory in one 
place, right? The one place. That's and right. sometimes people got get difficult to to practice about it. That's right. So which one we should go first? Do we? Mm -hmm. do, will you suggest we should go first with the visual or what? What would you? Suggest? Okay. Yeah. The first thing is always make peace with your own belief. So right, that's the first right, thing because right, that's right. why I mentioned it earlier in my yeah. previous session. Mm -hmm. Make peace with your own belief in how to speak in English. It's fun. Right. And once you get that, once you enter the flow, the stage, first of all, you must really balancing your visual aspect. Right. Because right, right, they right. haven't hurt you yet, mm -hmm. but they had already seen you. Yeah. So make sure that you really have a good appearance, representative, you're, you, you uh, polite, and yeah. and they feel that you have some uh, similarity with them. Mm -hmm. And once you get that state, you can start with your speech. The right. way you talk, the way you manage your tonality and everything. Be sure that you can touch their heart with your uh, with the way you talk. Right, right, right. You know, uh, let me uh, tell something more about the story of um, the very important person. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Steve Jobs. Ah, oh, yes. During his presentation, he said that just take a look at this picture mm -hmm. with no body language at all. I mean, he did actually, but not many. What do you think about it? Well, because Steve Jobs is, I, I perceive Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs as someone who is really genius in presentation. Right. So he really knows how to hypnotize the hypnotize, audience, right? the audience yeah. by combining the visual and auditory aspect. Mm -hmm. Because when you show a picture, that's why we have a quote, picture speaks thousand words. Exactly. Actually, visual speaks thousand words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why maintain our visual aspect mm -hmm. and again, train the way you speak. And I believe that you need talk is one of good community. If you Thank you. To, Thank you. you. To practice your yeah. because I've been there and I've seen yeah, the way sure. you train your your participants and mm -hmm. and it's really good way to to enjoy the fun mm -hmm. in less public speaking. Thank you so much for that. And don't forget to always stay tuned here at Unitalk program at Travis TV. So uh, nice people there. That's what we have for this episode. Thank you so much, Coach Alka, for being My here. Pleasure. Hope to see you again at the next episode, at the next session, and bye-bye.